I ask the Whalers fans to get out there and purchase those license plates, because maybe then they will come back, said Democratic Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman, giving a glimmer of hope to the handful of diehard fans who showed up for Tuesday's announcement in their old Whalers garb. One fan wore the pucky, the whale mascot costume. We'll keep hoping, Wyman said. It was two decades ago that we lost on the Whalers, but in our hearts we have not. Just like we will not lose in our hearts the caring for our children. Stafford Springs Representative Kurt Vale, a Republican who worked to pass legislation last year creating the plate, said the strong, bipartisan support for the license plate concept indicates how much enthusiasm remains in Connecticut for the team, which became the Carolina Hurricanes in 1997. Vail credited the work of the team's still active booster club, which first proposed the idea about two and a half years ago. Bob Crawford, who played for the Whalers and several other NHL teams during his professional hockey career, said Hartford stands out as a special place among the cities where he played. The Whalers are, they're part of our past, our positive past, he said. They're part of our present and they will be part of our future with this ongoing cause and other things.